So exactly, what, who is this guy? He's the guy from, you know, that show. Thanks. That really narrows the town. You're welcome. Uh, where is he? Still in the studio? Is he, is he still in makeup? He requires no makeup. Well, where the hell is he? Is he late? Huh. Yes. So wait a minute, um, you, you've left this monitor here. He'll come in via monitor. This is a satellite broadcast? No one told me. No, we're on cable, remember? Was it a webcam? All I know is I was supposed to set up a monitor right here. Instructions left on a 1959 TV guide. Don't ask. He'll be coming in right now. Oh. Well, uh, welcome. Uh, welcome, uh, Mr. Erbach. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we'll enter the world of Blair McCormick, TV personality at the end of a lackluster career, a man big on ego and small on human kindness, a man destined to leave a legacy of spite self-indulgence, all paid for with an empty soul. It's my pleasure to join you tonight, Mr. McCormick. Yes, welcome. Welcome to my show. So, uh, <clears throat> Mr. Urbex, I understand that you recently hosted the uh, TCTV uh, Halloween special. Yes. So I, I understand you had a, quite a body of work before that. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, um, and which is, uh... You mean my earlier work on Playhouse 69? Yes, that's it, that's it, yes. Such as Eulogy for a Featherweight, the tragic tale of a wrestler and his eating disorder that does him in. Yes, yes brilliant. In fact, uh, I was trying to remember some of the reviews that were written up at, uh, at that time. Uh, you wouldn't happen to remember, um... Reviews, such as the New York Times, TV Guide, Steve Allen's Opinion, the Red Book Cookbook Review, or the Nobel Prize Committee's Statement. Did you do any research before you conducted this interview? Well, uh, uh, well anyway, you had uh, more than a couple of uh, television series. I... More than a couple, yes. Um, yes, uh, the lineup, I, I recall some of them, but, uh, uh, there seem to be a lot of cooking shows. Could you, um... Indeed. Everything's Irvax. The Breakfast Hour. What's for Brunch? Mid-Afternoon Snack with Irvax. Guess what's in the fridge? And the Late Night Leftovers with Rodling. And, of course, my favorite, Irvax Blue Plate Special, taped at a local diner. And that was just one season. <laughs> Sounds like you got a lot on your plate. <laughs> yes. And so, um, did you have a, a movie career at one point? Uh, uh, I'm still... There were the movies. The Earwax Conspiracy. Look out, the commies are coming. The hippie dippy race around the world. As well as my design for an engine that ran on vermouth. And conducting the first charity telethon for childhood obesity. It didn't leave me a lot of time for my first love. Which was? Collecting antique and unique food wrappers. <laughs> Collecting antique and unique food wrappers? What, 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 uh, what use uh, empty food wrappers? They're quite collectible in some circles. Okay, I've, <laughs> I've heard of everything now. There's a new restaurant in San Bernardino, run by a pair of brothers. I've purchased the first styrofoam hamburger containers, and I believe that McDonald's has a great future. McDo what, that was 
1957. Yes. So what are you, uh, 35, 40 years old? Uh, I mean, uh, all these shows, they were many years ago, like 40 years ago. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, this one here, what is it, the, the breakfast hour, that was, what, 40, 42 years ago? Yes, it <laughs> <laughs> ah, thank you. She's lovely. Uh, that's, uh, you know what? I think this little charade has gone on long enough. I mean, you, uh, whoever you really are, yes. indeed, wherever you really are, I mean, you, you seem to think this is amusing. The music. Uh, I mean, I mean uh, uh, this is a neat little trick. I mean, that, that get up. I mean, uh, that, uh, that's really quite extraordinary. But uh, <laughs> I just noticed that uh, well, it is quite extraordinary. I, I mean, for instance, I, I noticed that that, that uh, monitor isn't even plugged in. But uh, no, this is this has gone far enough. This is a serious show, and uh, plugged into what? Time, space, the continuum, the tragedy of man, life, death, mystery. Zones that we travel through? I mean, we were hoping to go over your creative processes. My creative process involves two shots of tequila and a loaded gun. Then the words just seem to flow. That's how I was able to write my novel over a weekend. <laughs> That's it. However, whatever. This, this ends now. I mean, if you have this much of a need for attention, you know, I really suggested you get your own show. You know, through the years, I never availed myself of a talk show. In fact, I believe this little gem should do very nicely. What, Dimensions what's exist happening? that man what, does not understand. What's going on here? Time, shadow, space, relativity. This, this, it all travels this can't, through a cathode ray this can't be happening. in your living room. This can't be but real. Where does it come from? Where does it emanate from? Why are you the recipient of this knowledge? We're picking up on him, confused. Good evening and welcome to the Rodling Urbax talk show. This will be Late Times with Rodling Urbax. My first guest is Mr. McCormick. Let's check in on him. <laughs> you know, I don't know exactly what is going on here. All right. I suppose my ambitious stage manager rigged this little operation. You know, she's very clever in her way, but in most states about it, she's just a bimbo. Now, I'll give the two of you just two minutes to cease this nonsense and return the status of my television show. Uh, you can't. You can't do this. This is. You cannot be doing it. This is mine. I shall have a, that's my television show. I hope you enjoyed our program tonight. And if you learned anything, it never hurts to be polite. And chivalry is a debt, as long as I have something to say about it. As for our friend, Mr. McCormick. <laughs> you, you can't be doing it. This is, this is my show. It's, that, that's my television show. You, uh, you, you can't just come in here and do that. You, you. Y yes, you! Uh, uh, I brought you into the... I pay your salary. I brought you into here. I, I brought... I, uh, 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 Billy. Uh, no. Billy, what, uh, send him uh, into the... Uh, bimbo. I mean, uh, Barbara. I, uh, no. No! No! Well, I hope you'll tune in with us tomorrow for another episode of the Rodling Urbax Late Night Show. We like to call Rodling Urbax Late Night Show. But first, a word from my favorite cigar company, Dutch Masters. Next time, step up. Step up to the master. Hey, we don't do tobacco anymore. What? Not on the air. No, <laughs> no tobacco commercials on the air? Get this, Get this guy off the air. What's television come to? Anybody got a light? No lights allowed in the studio.